Anthrax is taking hold of animals in Texas. The bacteria is responsible for killing livestock and other animals in the state. Health leaders tell KXAN's Wes Rappaport they haven't seen an outbreak this size in over a decade. The way you get anthrax is from spores. The anthrax we're talking about here is not the synthetic powdery stuff that causes evacuations. This occurs naturally. It'll last in the soil for 40 plus years. It'll last in, a, in standing water for a couple of years. It, it's very persistent, very stable in the environment. And especially when you've had cool, moist weather followed by hot, dry weather, it seems to unearth those spores. Dr. Tom Sidwa is a veterinarian with the Department of State Health Services. He's in charge of a team that studies and investigates diseases transmitted from animals to people. This recent outbreak has affected cattle, horses, deer, antelope, and goats so far. They can go from seemingly normal to dead in a very short period of time, a matter of hours. The Texas Animal Health Commission reports 10 cases of anthrax in animals this year. Let's compare that to recent history. The Department of State Health Services tracked 67 lab-confirmed cases over the previous eight years. And the state confirmed just 50 cases over a 25-year time frame before that. Because some property owners don't always report every single case, state health officials say the numbers could be even higher. They're not necessarily going to call the veterinarian and have every white-tailed deer that dies on their place tested. Health experts warn Texas hunters to think twice before picking up antlers in the wild. The anthrax can survive in those, in those um, osseous tissue, those antler tissues, uh, long term. So you don't get to take those home for the dog to chew. You don't mount them on the wall, leave it alone if it's attached to a skull. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. The Texas Animal Health Commission wants landowners to vaccinate their livestock. Anthrax in humans is rare, but you can get it from an infected animal. So what can you do to reduce the risk? The Texas Department of State Health Services suggests avoiding contact with dead animals, keeping pets and children away from dead animals as well, and wearing long sleeves and gloves when handling game. Be sure to wash your hands and clothing immediately after being exposed to killed game and cook all of your meat well before eating it.